Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial. Today I would like to show you how to crochet these slippers. I'm going to show you women's size, so the length of sole is 24.5 centimeters. You'll need two balls of this yarn, it's called Court Yarn from Yarn Art brand, it's 40% cotton and 60% polyester. And they recommend 15 millimeters crochet hook, maybe for something else, but not for our project. We will need seven millimeters crochet hook. And it's very interesting material. I'm sure you will like it. And what else you will need for this project? It's pair of scissors, yarn needle and measure tape. So let's get started. Start with slip knot and then chain 15. Don't tighten it much and use 7 millimeters crochet hook and make chain 15. Now we are going to make double crochets. So start in the third chain and make two double crochets into the third chain. So yarn over, insert your hook into the third chain, grab the yarn, pull it through. You have three loops on your hook, grab the yarn, pull it through two loops. Grab the yarn again and pull it through two loops. This is double crochet. And make one more double crochet in the same chain. Okay, now make one double crochet in the next 11 chains. So now we are making the sole of slipper. And now in very last chain make six double crochets. And I will hide the starting tail behind my work because uh, it means less work at the end of this project.
Okay, now make one double crochet in the next 11 stitches. So we are going to make exactly the same count of double crochets like on the other side. And insert your hook always into both loops. And I'm going to hide this tail how I said because it, this tip makes your work easier. So if you want, follow me. Okay, and now we have to make two double crochets into the last stitch. So it will be exactly the same like on the other side. And it will be the same stitch, the same space where you made two double crochets uh, on the beginning. So you have four double crochets in the same space two double crochets on this side and two double crochets on the other side. This is one double crochet and make one more double crochet into the same space. And then you have to join the round with a slip stitch. If you want, you can follow me also on my Instagram profile at Thomas Sheep. Or you can send me photos of your project or if you will have any problem I will be happy for your message and I will help you with pleasure so I made slip stitch in the first stitch Next round we are going to start with chain one and then make two single crochets into next two stitches. Then make one single crochet in the next three stitches. Now we are going to make half double crochets and make one half double crochet in the next four stitches. Let me know if you like the video, if you like the pattern and if it's understandable. If you will have any questions, let me know below the video and you can also write me on my Instagram profile at Thomas Sheep and you can send me photos of your slippers or something else.
Okay, now we are going to make double crochets. So make one double crochet in the next four stitches. So how I said make one double crochet in the next four stitches and then we will increase again so now we are at the front part of slipper Okay, now make two double crochets in the next six stitches. And now we have to continue like on the other side, so make one double crochet in the next four stitches. Now make one half double crochet in the next four stitches. And one single crochet in the next three stitches. And the length uh, of sole is 24.5 centimeters and the length of sole corresponds size 38 to 39 in European size. If you will want bigger or smaller size just try to use um, um, bigger or smaller crochet hook now we have to dec uh, we have to increase I'm sorry so make two single crochets in next two stitches so this is first increasing and this is second increasing And then make one single crochet in the next stitch. So this is very last stitch. And now we have to join the round with a slip stitch in this first stitch. But I'm going to make an invisible stitch, slip stitch. So cut the yarn, pull the tail through. You can see how it looks like 
inside the yarn. It's very interesting, different yarn. I'm sure you will like it. So pull it through and now just take the hook or yarn needle, it's up to you. I'm going to use just crochet hook. And pull the tail through the first stitch from inside to outside of sole. And now you have to insert your hook into the last stitch, so into the middle of last stitch and pull it through like this. Tighten it, tighten it little and you can see nothing. <laughs> it's invisible, invisible last stitch. You will just sew this tail inside the sole and I can cut this tail because it's already hidden. And you have to make three more soles because we will, we will join two soles together. So you need four pieces of sole and now let's join it together. If you will make the slippers just with one sole, it will not be nice, it will not be hard. We want to have real slipper, real shoe, so make four. Now I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to use new uh, end of yarn and start somewhere here somewhere here in front part of shoe and we will use stitches. So insert your hook into the stitch in the upper sole and then in the stitch in the lower sole and pull the yarn through. And we are going to join it with slip stitches. So make slip stitch by slip stitch like this all the way around. I think it's pretty easy. You will make just one slip stitch in each stitch and always you have to insert your hook through both soles, both stitches of both soles. And now we have to join the round with uh, invisible stitch. And this is how it looks like. So I'm going to make last slip stitch. And then just cut the yarn and pull it through like before. And use yarn needle or crochet hook it's up to you i'm going to use just crochet hook and go under the first stitch and pull the yarn through. Now 
then insert your hook into the middle of last stitch and insert your hook from below like this and pull the yarn through And then just hide the tail in the middle of so. And that's all. And now let's make the rest of slipper. Okay. You can pick what side you want. And this is front part of shoe. And you can use stitch markers. Find the middle and you have to count four stitches on the left side and four stitches on the right side. If you will want to have uh, um, less high of this part of shoe, you can count seven stitches together or or six so for this size for this project I'm going to count eight stitches in the front part of shoe okay take a new end of yarn Pull it through and chain one. And we will make just single crochets now. So chain one and then make one single crochet in each stitch to the stitch marker. And we are going to use this stitch, this stitch. So these stitches you have to use and make one single crochet in each stitch to the stitch marker and I'm going to hide the tail behind my work. You should do it as well because it's less work. In this case it's really more comfortable. And the chain on the beginning we have to count like single crochet and now make the last single crochet so it's eighth single crochet and always at the end of the row we will make I will I will call it like extra single crochet so we always at the end of the row have to make two extra single crochet so this is one and this is two so we have done two uh, extra single crochets so it's eight plus two extra single crochets Now turn your work and we are going to start without uh, chains and not in this stitch but in the second stitch always. Always you will start next row in the second stitch and make one single crochet in each stitch to the end of the row. Please let me know 
uh, below the video if it's not understandable for you and I will help you with pleasure. My English is not good, so that's why I'm telling this. So in this row you have to have nine single crochets. So this is last single crochet of the row and we are at the end of the row so we have to make two extra single crochets. And make one single crochet in the first stitch in the sole. This is first single crochet. And this is second single crochet in the sole. Then turn your work again. And start in the second, second stitch. Not here, but you will start always in the second stitch and make single crochet. And you will continue like this uh, till you have eight rows together. Okay, I am at the end of the row. I want to show you uh, again the, the end of the row. So this is last single crochet. You should have 10 single crochets in this row. And now you have to make two extra single crochets in the sole. And I'm going to hide the tail more <laughs> behind my work. You can see these two stitches you will use. So one single crochet and two single crochet. Second single crochet and you will continue like this always. So start, start in the second stitch, make single crochet and make eight rows together like this. So now you can pause the video and then meet me back again. Okay, now I'm at the end of the eighth row. And you will make extra, extra um, slip stitch. <laughs> so we made two extra single crochets and one slip stitch. Now start in the second stitch like always and make single crochet. Then we will make half double crochets. So make in next four stitches one half double crochet. Then make one single crochet in the next eight stitches. Okay. 
and then make again one half double crochet in the next four stitches. And extra two single crochets into the sole. So make one single crochet in each stitch to the end and meet me back again at the end of this row. Okay, this is last single crochet. Oh no, it's not last. This is last single crochet. And in this uh, in this stitch make one single crochet extra single crochet and in this end in this stitch make slip stitch if you will finish the slipper or you can make more rows if you want and continue working like before so you will start in the second stitch if you want and or if you want you have to start in the second stitch and make one single crochet and you can make two more rows if you want. Okay and this is how it looks like. I hope you like the video and you like my slippers. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.